Hi Scorpio, welcome to your general love reading for the first half of October 2021. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Scorpio. And it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading. All that information is in the description box. All right, let's see, we have complicated. Okay, someone else had this, I think. Can't remember. It's okay. Um, either way, you're in a very complicated situation, or at least it is um, feeling like it is complicated. We are going to clarify that. So let's actually see what is going on here for Scorpio. Let's get the rest of your cards, and then we'll clarify. So Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, first half of October. And also the rules can be reversed because this is a general reading. Okay, Scorpio, for the recent past we have justice. Okay, so possibly a major decision or maybe things um, felt like, okay, you know, we're getting somewhere. Things feel like maybe there was a makeup or somebody was trying to make things right or it felt that way. Let's see, for you, we have the Seven of Cups as well as the Two of Cups. Okay, so there's some confusion here, possibly about this connection or about, you know, how exactly the other person feels or where it is going or what the hell is going on between the two of you. Um, for them, we have the Five of Swords and we have the King of Swords. Okay, so some of you might be dealing with, with an air sign, possibly. Um, we also have Libra showing up here as well. I feel like your person may have kind of gone back on, on something that they said, possibly, or, you know, like just when things felt like they were made right, maybe, you know, this person kind of did something to make you feel like you can't trust them again, or something along those lines. Um, but I do see some determinism here. I... It could be that this person is kind of distant or this person is appearing kind of cold or just kind of stern, almost feeling like what I'm really getting here is that it feels like this energy, this Five of Swords energy is like very, very harsh. Or it's very persistent. We'll see. We'll see because it doesn't mean that things are always the way they appear. Let's see what is coming up for you. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so there's a change here, a turn of events, possibly. Um, let's see for them. We have the Three of Pentacles. Okay. I actually, what I'm getting here with this Wheel of Fortune is that you're kind of you're kind of moving in a, in a different direction. I feel like you might be changing something in your behavior or in the way that you are dealing with this. So I actually feel like with this Wheel of Fortune, you're coming out of that um, confusion or of that, maybe you were seeing things in a way that was not very um, clear or you were seeing things in a way that, were, that was not very based in reality. And I actually feel like you're coming out of that. Let's see the potential outcome. We have the Two of Swords. Mm, okay. Well, for the Three of Pentacles here for your person, I feel like now... Now this person is wanting to team up with you. This person is now wanting to compromise or wanting to make things work. But for the potential outcome, we have the Two of Swords, and maybe you're not the one who's going to agree this time. Or maybe you're just not going to feel very confident about that. So let's see. So let's clarify complicated... We have the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Swords. All right, yeah. So whatever is going on here, it's creating a lot of stress um, for you, possibly also for this other person. I feel like it, it. it's feeling like it's just, you know, not gonna get anywhere and that, you know, whatever it is that's happened, maybe it's something that keeps happening, but almost feeling the sense of <clears throat> doom or like the sense of like, are we ever gonna get out of this? Like, is it always going to be this complicated? Let me just 
get a couple cards here for justice for the recent past. Although I'm feeling pretty confident that this is about feeling like things were made right. Yeah, see we have the devil in the world. Alright, so Capricorn is also showing up here. Um, I feel like, yeah, you know, whatever whatever it is that that was um, creating conflict or whatever it was that was creating toxicity or whatever it was that was just unhealthy, and that could be anything, that felt like it had come to a conclusion or that felt like, all right, you know, like that is closing out or maybe something, a cycle that was repeating itself over and over again that was not a good one. Um, it felt like it was closing out and that, you know, things were now beginning to come into balance. But by seeing the current situation here, I feel like, you know, that wasn't really the case. Or maybe you made up and, and just for something to happen again. All right, let's see the Seven of Cups. I'm glad to see that Wheel of Fortune, though, for you um, coming up. And that Three of Pentacles, this person wanting to work things out, but... Yeah, let's see, let's see. Seven of Cups, we have the Two of Swords, the Two of Wands, and the Hanged Man. Yeah, it's almost like, you know, you you feel like you're back at this point where, you know, things are happening again, right? Two of Swords, um, <laughs> I can see why then you will, um, you know, that's the potential outcome here because you just don't really know. You just don't really know what's going on with this person. I feel like you feel like things are stuck. I feel like you might also, you know, feel a little bit stuck in this as well. But I do, I do feel like there's also a lot of waiting in your energy, just not knowing what's what's happening here, not knowing, um, you know, if this is ever going to resolve. But pretty much what I said with the complicated um, situation here. I feel like, you know, maybe it's like you're now feeling like you weren't seeing the situation clearly before. And I feel like that's affecting you in a negative way. But, you know, even now, things might still not be what they appear. Like, even this, this deceit might not be exactly what it appears to be. There might be something else underlying this. So we'll find out when we clarify. Let me see the Two of Cups. the five of pentacles the seven of wands and the knight of wands okay so yeah even though you still have emotions for this i feel like this is a connection that you do feel a lot of deep emotions for um i feel like you're also feeling a little bit left out in the cold possibly or just that there's you know you're at a you're at a loss in some way maybe you're feeling a little bit rejected and for that reason i feel like you're you're starting to put up your guard or set your boundaries because um, yeah with this knight of wands you might feel like this person has been in and out or that this person is just not stable and just when things appear to be getting better you know then things kind of, something happens again and so I feel like you're beginning to find your own boundaries for this even if you do still feel that love and you still feel that connection so let's see what's going on with them let's see this five of swords King of Swords showing up again, and the Magician, clarifying the Five of Swords. Yeah, there is something that this person is doing, um, also getting a lot of swords um, for them, so I do I do pick up a lot on, on an air sign here, of course could be any sign. Um, I actually want to get one more here. Alright, the Four of Swords, okay. So it could be that this person, you know, on the on the one hand appears very determined, like, you know, they come in and they're just decisive or determined um, to make things happen. And then, you know, and then maybe they go silent. All right. With the four of swords. So maybe that's the issue. It could be anything. It could be anything here. Or maybe there's just some kind of other deceit. But for others of you, I'm also getting that it could be a little bit of manipulation. It doesn't necessarily mean that it is deliberate but it could be that this person um 
was taking advantage of you or, or um, was taking you for granted, actually, was taking you for granted. And usually those two can go hand in hand because when you take somebody for granted, then it's easy to actually take advantage of that and just kind of um, do your own thing or act in ways where, you know, it's, it's self-serving. But that self-servingness could be um, a manifestation of some other kind of a fear, some kind of an insecurity. Let's see this King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords here? All right, we have the Five of Swords showing up again, to second time for them. We have the King of Swords and the Five of Swords showing up twice for this person, but we also have the Lovers. Yeah, okay, so this person does, does want this connection. This person does have these feelings, right? Um, with the lover showing up here. They do feel a very um, intense connection with you. This could be why, this could be why the, they are kind of like moving in, in the opposite direction or acting the way that they are. Um, and I, I'm not trying to justify them, okay? I, you, you guys know you follow your own intuition, all right? <clears throat> I'm just reading the energy. It's like this person is deceiving their own self when it comes to when it comes to love. So yeah, you know, I mean, I'm not justifying them. So obviously, I think that it's good that you are setting your boundaries here. So that this person, you know, I mean, if they want there to be a change or if they really want this connection with you, you know, they're going to have to change this this um, dubious behavior, whatever it is. Um, it's kind of like, you know, you have to kind of face your own fears here, Mr. Other Person or Mrs. Other, Miss Other Person, whoever this is. This person has to face their fears if they want this, basically, um, and be straightforward be honest and not avoid, you know, this connection if this is what they want. And I feel like the more that they are allowed to do that or to act in this way, you know, that they, they kind of will just keep acting in that way. And I feel like you're, you're realizing that and this is why you have this wheel of fortune, right? You're changing. You're changing the way that you are viewing this or the way that you are behaving or something. And again, um, the other thing I'm getting here is what I said before that this person, you know, comes in determined, feeling very strong, um, but then it's almost like their actions go against what, what they say or what they were showing. Let's see the Wheel of Fortune for you. All right, and we have the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Wands. All right, so yeah, there's a shift here that you are, that you are making. I don't know what that shift is. I do feel like it has to do with you, um, with you setting boundaries, basically not allowing this Knight of Wands type of behavior, the in and out, hot and cold, because I, I pretty much that's what I'm getting with your person, um, that it's the hot and cold here. And I feel like currently it's more on the colder side, all right, with all these swords. Um, I feel like because you're making this change, right, then you have this Knight of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Um, I, and I do feel like it's the same person coming back in. For some of you, it could be somebody else, but I'm mostly getting that it's the same person um, that we're talking about here with that Ace of Wands because this is like a reconnecting, like a reigniting. So that change is actually bringing this person um, in again, and I feel like it's coming in with, um, with a lot of passion, <clears throat> 
um, a lot of affection and expressing. I mean, I don't know. Again, we'll see if this is going to be long lasting because obviously, like, I feel like you're not really going to trust that. Um, let's see the Three of Pentacles. Get a couple more. We have the Seven of Swords, the Six of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah, I feel like this person wants a reconciliation here. They're trying to get back to that um, space from the past. I feel like they do want to work with you. They do want to compromise. They do want to put in that effort. But to be honest, I feel like it's still, at least for the first part of October, it feels like it's still um, a little bit difficult for them. Like, they want to. They want to. There's this nostalgia for you, um, wanting to get things back to how they were. But I feel like they're still kind of... Um, Just still kind of, um, kind of like fighting with their own self here. Kind of like still trying to find their balance. It's like it's still a little, a little bit challenging for them when it comes to how to put in this effort. And I feel like that's why you're not, um, I feel like that's why we have the Two of Swords. Let me clarify that Two of Swords. I don't think you're going to be that open to it. At least not for now. Who knows later on, but at least for now. Yeah, the Hermit and Strength. <clears throat> All right, so Virgo and Leo energy showing up. Um, yeah, you're. I feel like you're not going to be very trusting of it. I don't know exactly what it is that you're going to do. Like if you're going to, you know, give this person another chance. Even if you do, I feel like you're not going to be very open or not just not very trusting. So I feel like you're going to be more, more prepared. Um, <clears throat> I kind of feel like for the most part, you're going to be um, keeping your distance a little bit, keeping your distance a little bit. And I feel like that is actually building your strength. So I do feel like this is happening for a reason for you, all right, because it is helping you to kind of find strength within your own self. So that could even be the lesson in this, to find that strength, to set those boundaries. And then after that, you know, like, who knows? Maybe this can come together. Maybe not. You would know. Um, if, if you feel like this is your person, well, then yeah, you know, things can definitely um, progress from here on out. So... Yeah, just keep in mind this is just meant to be for for a couple weeks. And for some of you, you know, maybe you're ready to move on from this person. I, if you are, I definitely see you doing that. <laughs> All right, so for the final message here, we have the full moon in Sagittarius. Look at the bigger picture. Yeah, look at the bigger picture and find that lesson. Find the lesson in this. I feel like that's going to be key for you. That is going to be very, very important um, for you to actually achieve your goals and to get to where it is that you want to get, whether it is within your own self or also um, in regards to this connection or just overall. All right. Make sure you don't lose sight of the bigger picture here. All right, Scorpio, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.